It's Vlogmas in July. This is silk up here. It's like the spiders that, that spin the silk and then and jump off. Ooh. Hello, internet friends. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Michiwi and I'm on a weight loss journey. If you're not new here, then you know I've been on a weight loss journey for a while now. 210 days to be exact. Over those 210 days, I have lost 15 pounds. I started at 210, got to 172, and then started vlogging. And now I am roughly at 156, 157. And I've been stuck in this plateau for a while now. <laughs> and it is because I have been very lenient on myself. So I am bringing back the daily vlog for July. It may go further, but it won't go less. And for full transparency, today is June 30th for me. I realized that starting a daily vlog and then trying to vlog and edit on the same day and get it uploaded on the same day uh, was silly. So I'm one day ahead of you guys. So throughout this month, my promise to you guys is that I will vlog every day and work on calorie counting, maintaining a diet, that is full of nutrition and just vlog my daily life, <laughs> which will actually be quite interesting for about the first week because Steven is off of work. So far we've gone sailing, we've gone kayaking, and today we're gonna go hiking and do kayaking. We're gonna do about a mile out and a mile back. And then this evening, what is it? Uh, it's Beats on the Bay. They get a big ship, they play music, and everyone comes out in their kayaks or paddle boards and we're going to be launching from the same spot that we launched in yesterday's video. So I'm not going to show you too much of the scenery, just more of what's actually going on at the bay. So now that I've given you guys my promise and what to expect for at least the first week, which is a lot of fun, I need you guys to do me a favor and keep me accountable. My calorie allowance is 1400. The lowest I'm willing to go is 1200. I'm going to kind of try and stick in the 1300 area see if that does anything to uh, my hormones and maybe if it starts showing a constant period like it was before, I'll up it. I don't think I have to go much lower. I'm exercising daily. I know exactly where I have been failing and plateauing at. It is the calorie counting and not being strict enough. So I'm going to be weighing a lot of my foods that you would be like, why are you weighing this? That's obsessive. That's too much. It's just me recalibrating. I have to know where and how I've been going wrong so that I can fix it. <laughs> so like a plum has a seed, right? I'm going to weigh this plum seed after I eat it so that I know exactly how many calories it would be. Normally I would put it in my net diary as just a plum, but I want to get really strict so I can realize how many calories a certain thing is before deciding to eat it. <laughs> I want to know the nutrition of it, all the stuff. I also want to encourage you guys to not just leave encouraging comments. Of course I want those, but if you see me doing something wrong, please let me know. Sometimes we cannot see it for ourselves and comments are not going to hurt my feelings. Situations hurt my feelings, comments don't. And I'll give you an example here. Um, someone left a comment that was like, hey, you've got main character syndrome. And I was like, oh, okay, this person just doesn't like me. But I went back, I read their comment fully. I was like, no, 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 Michelle, there is some truth here. Um, I was letting my fear of everything kind of impede my partner's ability to have fun. Like he has to drive a certain way. We can't go sailing because I had a panic attack. Traveling is just not fun and it should be. And that's me. That is me allowing fear to win and not working on myself in the slightest and just expecting someone else to make accommodations for myself, for me. Someone else to make accommodations for me. And you know, he loves me, so he wants to make me feel comfortable, but I'm not working on it. I'm, I, I have been letting the fact that I don't trust other drivers overpower the fact that I believe in my partner's ability to drive. 
and I know he can because he does it better than I do. So rather than sitting there going, oh no, someone's gonna hit us with their car, someone's gonna do this, I'm just repeating the mantra that I trust my partner. And it seems to be working so far, so. And it's also like, oh no, I'm scared on the boat. Well, chill, just chill is really all I can say on that. <laughs> Stop imagining the worst possible scenario all the time and imagine how much fun we could be having. And that's also working. So also again, call me out if you see me being a little too extra. I will take it into consideration because I am not just on a weight loss journey, I'm on a healthy lifestyle journey. I'm trying to not smoke, but that is not going that great. I'm trying to not drink but once a week and I want to limit the amount that I'm having. So call me out if you see any extra on that. And I want to be choosing foods that are nutritious and delicious. And I wanna practice having a healthy mindset using tools that I have been given from therapists, psychologists, psychiatrists throughout the years and putting them to use. Man, I am really sweaty today. All right, so with all that being said and a hello to Vlogmas in July, I need to food prep for the week. I need to cook breakfast and then we are gonna head out for our hike. I will get you my macros for each meal that I have and an end of the day count. Um, we are starting my new weekly average. So the weight you saw this morning, I think it was 156.6. That is the beginning of the weekly average. So I don't have, so we will revisit that in seven days. And I need to get progress picks and I should have done that before I had coffee. And I should have shown you guys the coffee. So for coffee, the coffee is five calories and I do count it. I do two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. That's hundred calories. Two teaspoons of sugar. I think that was like 23 calories and then a third cup of silk coconut milk. And I think that's also 23 calories. It, it all equals out to 161 calories basically. And I will put the macros here and I will start showing you every single thing I eat or consume in a day. It's too late today for the coffee though. It's already been consumed. Oh, and then for water, I absolutely love water flavoring. One stick is 10 calories. I put three in one of these guys and I drink about one of these guys a day. Yeah, if not more. So 30 calories a day from water. Okay, so food prep and then I'm gonna do pancakes because I bought a banana and they don't last long. And then probably eggs and sausage. So let's get cooking, shall we? that you're curious I know that you're strong but life can be furious and things can go wrong you go you go we're better off tomorrow but who knows who knows if we get joy or sorrow Stay true to that fire in your heart and your soul Don't drench your desire in what you can't control We fly, we fly, try so hard together And we might, we might, be lost but not forever There's things in life you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end The end I don't want to talk about the pancakes. I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. It, was, it wasn't It was my fault. I don't know what I did wrong. Anyway, uh, breakfast, 438 calories, 24 grams of protein, 30 grams of fat, 33 carbs. I do try and keep it as even as possible throughout the day. My goal is 100 grams of protein a day and then whatever the other stuff does is whatever the other stuff does. 19 grams of fiber, which the carb balanced tortilla shells are mostly uh, powdered cellulose. So from what I can tell, that's not an issue. I've been on 
Reddit threads and Discord servers and powdered cellulose is basically bark, but like if you eat spinach and it's the fibrous part, it's also like, it just doesn't matter. You're just not getting any nutrients additionally from it. So um, I usually have around 800 calories for breakfast and I need to get some protein in, but I instead am going to make a lunch with lots of protein in it to hopefully get me to 100 grams of protein a day. Hopefully. I could just pack some ground beef. That's not a horrible idea. I just made ground beef. Although that's a weird thing to eat on the go. We're going hiking. I don't think I need to make a snack. It's like, it's, it's two miles. It's not gonna be an all day thing. Yeah, I should be fine. All right, let's go hiking. So, freeway for 12 miles. Not far, but I'm going to do the best I can to not even flinch. Tell them how many times did I flinch? Twice. Twice. Not bad. Ish. Wait, before and after. Okay, so what are we walking? We're here and we're going here. Oh, we're not going far at all. <laughs> it's about a mile away and a mile back. What is, the, what is it on here? Uh, it's, on here. Uh, it's a half mile, uh, mile, uh, it's 1.3 miles up there. 1.3 miles up, okay. Up we go. That's a cool tree. There's lots of cool trees here. Oh my gosh. This is going to be a long walk because I'm going to be staring at everything. You did not tell me this whole trail is uphill. Uh, it levels off after you get up, up a little bit. But all the trails around in this county are uphill. All uphill. Only, only when you're going one direction. <laughs> oh yeah, walk well, back is going to be nice. Oh my god, no. how uphill it is. This is very uphill. What did I expect thinking hiking? I, I don't think I expected this. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a nice walk. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Is a mushroom. What, what's, you're doing like 3.4 on your speed now? Doing 3.4 on my speed and I am doing it flat. I do need to do an incline. Maybe you drop it down to three and pop it up on the incline. Yeah, I mean, the goal now is to get good at hiking, so Scotland is going to be a really great adventure, you know? Yep. So, yeah. Do need to work on this incline. Ooh, that is a cool tree. That is so cool. You know, it's funny too, because honestly, the only time I experienced something like this is if I went to like Disneyland or um, a zoo and they had like an exhibit. I'm <laughs> like, this is their natural habitat. <laughs> this feels like I'm in like some kind of paid amusement park, but it's free. <laughs> so I did not remember to bring spare batteries and I am, a third down on my battery. I should be saving some, but everything is so cool looking out here. Once you get the waterfall, you can come back and... There's a waterfall here? That's where we're going, it's the waterfall. Oh! Okay, yeah, we're gonna save some battery here. I said, I can hear the waterfall. It is not really the waterfall, is it? This is just part of it? It is waterfalling. It is a waterfall, but that is not the waterfall. At some point, we went the wrong way. So, we will now need to find the right way. Okay, so, turns out going downhill is harder. We are so close. I am, point, we've done 0.9 miles, yep. right? Yeah, okay, cool. Also, it's dawning on me that some of you may be going, hey, 
why are you acting like you've never been on a hike before and this is such a novelty idea? You're literally just walking in the woods. Um, that's because I've only been on one hike in my life and it was in Nebraska and all I got for my troubles were mosquito bites and socks covered in ticks. So kind of skipped out on doing that. But this is awesome. This is pretty dang awesome. This, it feels like an amusement park sort of thing. Yeah. All right, so before I started my vlogging of the weight loss journey, uh, I can tell you straight up there was no way that I could do this hike. Um, for one, I do have a rod in my leg and I haven't ever completely healed. It's like 90% fully healed and that's as far as it's gonna go. Um, I also got very winded on the treadmill just going at a what speed of three i don't know what three counts as but three that's miles an hour. oh three miles an hour i guess that makes sense huh <laughs> so three miles an hour and i at the 20 minute mark would get winded and there's video footage of it at the very beginning but now i'm doing two miles at 3.4 miles per hour It is a little bit harder because hills, but I'm not going fast. So uh, I am winded, obviously. Uh, I am a smoker, I am overweight, and I am out of shape. But it is something that I would not have been able to do before. So now I'm going to keep trying to work on these hills. Oh my God. That scared the living crime and he out of me. Look at this size of this slug. There's my hand. It's a very small slug. That's a small slug? It's That's so fat. It's small, a fat boy. Holy crap. It's a slug. <sighs> Why did that even scare me? Okay, well, I don't like wildlife too much, honestly. I did think that we were further along than that. He even says I have to stand on top of that big rock. I think he is insane. And not gonna happen, honey. I just learned something though that I wanna share with you guys. Apparently, the people who are going up a trail have the right of way. Because apparently they have momentum while they're going up and if they have to stop to let you get through on a like, narrow trail, they lose all that momentum and going uphill is hard. <laughs> so I did not know that. I just always assume to get out of the way if someone's going by. But, but in case you guys were wondering on the etiquette of trail walking, people going up, right away. It looks very mossy. It doesn't look safe. There. I could get up there. I'm not sure how easy I could get down. Oh, huh. I don't think I'd be getting down. I, I don't even think I could get up there, honestly. Massive boulder, though. I could get up. You could get up and down, slide down on this side. I don't think I could get up on that. I really don't. Don't go up. Don't go No, 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 no. I don't want you stuck up there because I can't help you if you get stuck. <laughs> even worse. <laughs> If you want to get up there, I'm not going to stop you, but just know you're doing it at your own you risk. Said, well, obviously. You, you said you didn't know if I, if I could get up there. That's like a dare. Why would you dare me? I didn't. I said I couldn't get up uh -huh. there. And that's not a dare. That's a promise. I cannot get up there. You, I think, could get up there. I can get up there. I, I just don't know if you could get down. Getting down would be the end of the <laughs> <laughs> oh, Okay. It's Fern Gully. Look at those, those are so cool. I wish I could get, well, I can kind of get close to that one, huh? I don't want to disturb plant life, but that is really cool. All right, we are at the end of the road. Total, what? We are at the beginning of the road, end of the trail. Total 2.8 miles. My ankle felt great through most of it. Going down, it did twinge a little bit sometimes, but it didn't give out and it was just a quick twinge to tell me that I needed to adjust how I was walking, which is perfect. Uh, I hope to continue to strengthen it, doing more of this, and therefore it won't have an issue later on. Now to eat some food and go kayaking. How many mountains? 
you get some confidence? How many debates to earn some tailwind? The years pass, I'm still the same. What will it take? Why the way up and down? And growl. Pretender, tell me what to believe. I ain't got a sweet tooth for lying. Spender, show me how to succeed. My wallet is spread in vain. There's a seal right there. There's a seal right there. One of them popped up super close. I don't know if they will again. Because here's the thing once you pull out a camera, they don't come back up. I swear to God. But there are two. There are one, two. And also, I keep looking and there's literally nothing out there. There might be no one out here because the waves. I don't know if they can keep a sailboat. I mean, anchors, right? But then everyone else around is going to be sloshing. So we're going to go out there. No matter what, we're going to get a good paddle in. Damn. That one was so close. Okay, and we're losing all of our gains. So, sorry. There were two seals, you don't get to see them. Do you guys see them? Ah, I hope you guys saw, oh yeah. Hi, buddy. There's another one in front of us too. Ah, oh, there we go, there's another one. I don't know if you guys can see it. They are so close because no one's out here. We're gonna just enjoy the, the seal time, I think, huh? Uh, no matter what, that was worth it. Absolutely magical. Okay, so I just checked Insta because that's where they posted the seize the day. And I have the right date, I have the right time. Uh, they were meeting at the beer garden first and we were like, nah, let's not. And also there's always tons of traffic so we just figured we'd meet them at the dock and that's why we would be fashionably late. I think they're just not gonna paddle out in this weather. They, they pay attention to the weather. The waves are insane. I don't think that there's an update because I think that they met and said, hey, this this isn't working. So they're probably all just getting drunk and having a silent auction. Neither one of which we want to do. So I said I wanted to at least get to the boardwalk and the park. Tons of waves. What do you think? That was like a mile? It's a mile and a half. Oh, mile and a half with waves. It's going to take five minutes to get back. There were so many seals out because no one is out. So. It was a win. I got exercise. The weather is beautiful and it feels like we kind of have the ocean to ourselves. So, still a win. I am sorry that I didn't get to show you guys how cool uh, Seas the Bay is though. I don't know what happened there. I need you guys to see that heel on that sailboat. It was really insane. Like that freaking sail was almost, yeah, see, it's almost touching the water. That is insane. Steven's having fun with his kayak in the water. <laughs> oh wait, I'm sailing the wrong way, I think. Okay, oops. <laughs> He's having a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, say goodbye to the bay until another day. Summer outside, winter indoors. Cats and butterflies around my head Summer outside, winter indoors Where do we go? Hush, don't let me know I don't wanna be here Half alive, the zombie stare Put me out of my misery and love me Every waking hour those petals bloom I'll see you soon I'll see you soon